This time we do an oil and filter change on our V7. Before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe. Today we're going to do an oil and filter change on the Guzzi V7. We'll also inspect the air filter too. We don't need to do the valves because uh, they're only doing every 6,200 miles or so and they were done probably only about a thousand miles ago. To drain the oil, we've just got to run the engine get nice and hot. We've just been out for a bike ride of about 30 miles so it's nice and warm. You've got this large knot to undo at the front, and then strangely, there's also, see that, there's also a knot at the back, just here, got to undo as well. Gives you two chances to burn your hands on the exhaust, that's their cunning plan. Right, so let's go in. First thing I'm going to do is undo the dipstick here, which will, um, that's just going to let air in. There we go. Just so the thing drains out a bit better. There we go, let's leave that loose now. And now we've got air flowing through and they'll also drop out a bit quicker. So we're going to do the front knot first um, because it's the simplest one to do. Oh. There she goes. That's going to loose. It's also quite nice and quickly because it's still going to be pretty hot for my run. There it goes. And the oil looks pretty good. So again, we're looking for any sort of metal pra uh, fragments or anything like that. Stuck to the magnet on, on here. But it looks okay. I just about to see knot number two there. Go and do that one now. Go and do that one first. It spurts out under pressure all over your exhaust. Makes a bit of a smoky, stinky mess. So, trying to avoid that, I'm going to undo that now once the oil is uh, mostly out. There we go. Drink it for two and done. Hopefully, not too much oil left behind this one now. If it won't go everywhere, we'll see. Probably will. You can see the nut there, that's the retaining for the oil filter. So just got to undo that and then the oil filter will drop neatly into there and make a mess, but uh, we can then get the replacement cartridge oil filter in. So it's just, it's a 13mm socket. Undo that, just carefully undo it. Oh, although the main uh, nuts come out from the oil filter because the filter itself hasn't dropped, the thing we've got to do is very carefully just pry it away. There's a little lip, a lip on one of the fins you can see underneath, just to carefully pull it away from the bike. Oh, there she goes. So that's the oil filter out. Let's drop it to the oil. Notice that. That's the original oil filter. There's a cartridge oil filter. These are pretty much the same. All the small block engines, they all use the same oil filter. Uh, right back really to the first V50. This is a nice new oil filter. It's just nice pink inside. They've all gone black. That's the construct. 
So you can see the spring with the oil filter and it's on the cap. And I put the bolt up through the middle and I just need to shove that into the engine. Okay, so what remains now is to put the drain plugs back in. Put the larger one in first. Look, there's a magnet on this one, it should catch any metal pieces. And it's a good indicator there's any excessive wear or any problem with the engine. This one was nice and clean. Give it a wipe and wipe the wash before we put it back in. So it's pretty much the same again. Give them a clean, clean the plug, clean the hole. And get ready to install, to reinstall the plug. <laughs> That's that. So really not the main to put the oil back in. Now the important thing at this point is to remember on the dipstick, you absolutely do not overfill this engine. If you go, so up here, what'll tend to happen is excess oil is pushed out into the air box and then you ruin your air filter. On the V7, the air filter is under the seat. So just turn the key and it just pops off. And your air filter is right there. So we'll just undo the screws that hold it and we'll just check it out. I think it visually looks pretty good. This is a big improvement. The original small block engines had an air filter that ran in the middle of the V. It was incredibly difficult to get them out. So I was saying earlier about the perils of overfilling, and as you can see at the bottom of the air box there is some oil collector, so some has been drawn up from the sump. Not a lot, just a little bit. It's not swimming, but there is a little puddle in there. It's just going to wipe that out. It's a pretty good nick. Um, as you expect, it's only been in there for a year, um, and it's only done, well, probably barely a thousand miles, so it's just, there's, there's maybe a little bit of dust in there, but not much else actually.